Okay, hey guys, we are going to talk about the second six weeks test today. When you go into Schoology, you simply go into this week's folder. Mute my phone. And you uh, go into where you see the second six weeks test information. You have everything you need for the second six weeks test right there. The DMAC entry is all right here, plus the selections. You want to go to this very first one and read through these instructions. I would suggest printing these instructions or taking a picture of it. It simply tells you to take the second six weeks test, and as you take it, to write your answers. All you need is the letters on the sheet of paper. So you put like number one, B, number two, C, number three, A, so on and so forth. You then log on to DMAC using the link provided in Schoology. I'll show you that link in a second. And the test code, which is 1331849. This test code changes each time, but uh, it should work. I've, I've used it multiple times. This is the probably the 15th time I've recorded this video. So I've used it a bunch of times, and it has worked every single time. So you shouldn't have any issues with this test code. If you do, you can message me. But I please, I do ask that if you message me, before doing so, please check it and make sure that you are entering it correctly. Because the first thing I'm going to do is log on to DMAC as you and enter the test code and see if it works. So please check that before you do it. You'll select your teacher and begin entering the scores. Every other answer will ask you if you want or for F, G, H, J rather than A, B, C, D. What that means, or what I mean by this, is on Schoology, you can only enter A, B, C, D. You can't do the F, G, H, J, but on DMAC, it switches back and forth. So, like, number one will be A, B, C, D, and number two will be F, G, H, J. On Schoology, they're all A, B, C, D. So, this is not something you have to fret or worry about. It, it's, it's really simple. All you need to do is, if it asks you for this F, G, H, J, you simply transfer your answer. So, let's say that because it's going to be the odd, or it'll be the even ones. So let's say number two asks you for FGHJ, and you bubbled in or circled, answered, whatever, C. Well, that means that on DMAC, you enter H. It won't change the actual answer. All you're doing is transferring the letter. The answer will appear in the same location, so you don't have to stress about that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. You do need this key, though, as you go through. So take a picture of it, print it, whatever you got to do. All right. Um, the other stuff on here is equally important to you. You have a visual where they give you visual instructions. This, I have to say, probably won't come into play a whole lot because you're about to see this in this video. But this is what you'll see on the first screen. You enter your student ID, the birth date, the test code. Then you select me as your teacher and the class, and you start recording your answers, okay? Finally, you have three selections. It is extremely important that you print these selections before taking the test, and you read them before taking the test, all the way through. Each one of these appears, like the questions for them, appear on the test. However, the selections do not. It is simply too much information to put in each Schoology question. Uh, we did it, I did it last time, and we printed that last reading selection, and I had pe many people afterwards be like, oh, I didn't know to print that. Well, this is me telling you to print that. And if you don't watch this video, well, then you're not really following the instructions and handling Schoology the way you should, because you should be watching videos that I put out for you. So you want to print this. All you do is click the print button and then print it. If you don't have a way to print it at your house, go to the student or I'm sorry, to the public library or you can uh, maybe get your parent to print it for you at work. I can print one for you and leave it at the front desk. If you want to have your parent or somebody come pick it up, that's fine too. Just let me know. You got to give me enough time to get it printed and up there. So you should probably let me know on Monday if you want it by Tuesday but let me know and I will get that done or like I said you can always go to the Mount Pleasant Public Library if you go early in the morning there will probably won't be very many people there because most people will be at work so uh, that's another place that you could print it anyway once you've printed those you need to read them and annotate them because you are going to have questions over them 
And those questions are, they're, they're timed. You're going to have two minutes for each question. So you're not going to be able to read everything as you answer the questions. So please make sure that you read them beforehand. Once you've done all that, then you're then ready to take the test. You simply log or go into the test. I don't know if this will show it to you. And, and it, you're, you're going to start it. It tells you when it's due and all that kind of stuff. The This information is actually not accurate. So I, I haven't finished editing the test. So that's why that's showing up. But you'll go into the test and you take the test. And then you write down your answers. Like on a scratch sheet of paper. Once you have done all of that, you have still one more step. I am not going to answer or record your answers from Schoology. I am going to do it from DMAC, and it's important that you do it this way. In Schoology, they all have so many points, but in DMAC, some of those questions are zeroed out. And they're not worth any weight, and so that will help you with your grade. So you then select this link. It will bring you to this page, and in this page, you will enter your student ID, your date of birth, and the test ID. So I'll give you an example. Uh, let me just really quick switch scenes so that you can't see this kid's student ID. You probably will still be able to see the date of birth, but you can't do a whole lot with that without the student ID. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I might can, no. No, I've got to enter it this way. So... All right, and then the test ID is 1331849, and you sign in. All right, this will bring you to this page. Let me switch back so that you don't have to st still look at the confidentiality thing. And you will select your teacher. All your teachers will appear, but obviously you're going to select Lindy Merriman. You will check this arrow. This will bring you into this. You can see Mia's. Uh, this is where she will start, and then you start entering your answers. And like I said, let's say number two, your answer was, what did I say, D? Well, well, no, I said C. Let's say number two, your answer was C. You simply bubble in H instead of C. And guys, even if you don't have that key, they're right there. You know what I mean? Like, they're in the same location. A is F, B is G, C is H, D is J. So, and like I said, it won't affect your answers so you're good there to go there so I'm gonna sign Mia out I'll reset her later and that is all you need to do to do your second six weeks test stuff once again don't forget to print these selections and read these selections before the test and if you have any questions message me and let me know all right thanks guys